outside Oklahoma Aquarium. And right outside, got some bull shark statue. That's awesome looking. But they do have some social distancing guidelines in the aquarium. Pricing. Hey, yo, hey, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip, and I'm at Jenks, Oklahoma, visiting the Oklahoma Aquarium. Now, this is my first time here, so I'm excited. This is open. Going to check out some aquatic life. They do have some social distancing guidelines. Got to remain six feet away from people. I have brought along my face mask just in case I get into an area where there seems to be a lot of people. I'll put my face mask on that will protect myself and as well as other people. Hopefully other people are going to be doing the same thing. So I'm going to take a look around and see what we see. Hopefully be a lot of cool fish and other aquatic life. So let's go start. All right, so this is the map the Oklahoma Aquarium. Before I actually start going to the exhibits, they have a little snack bar. Just in case you want to have lunch. There's their menu available items. They have some specials. Now out back from the main entrance, they have a all new playground area. But even though the sign here says now open, it's actually closed right now because of COVID-19. Now I did stop inside the aquarium shop first thing and purchase a hat. It's part of their social distancing guidelines, as well as one way only arrows. Got amazing invertebrates. Now this is interesting, got red tree sponge. Wow, that is very colorful. Very nice. We got oyster toadfish. All right, so it looks like the oyster toadfish got himself buried in the sand below. As you see up above on the left, got a nice little starfish. You can see just a little bit of the of the fin sticking out. Wow, that is awesome. See him. Big tentacles all moving around. Wow. This is awesome. You notice the blue tang swimming around. Got a white spotted jellyfish. Very uh, translucent looking. So I believe they got a black light above. Really makes them stick out. Got a giant rock scallop. Wow. That thing is definitely giant. Man. We got some red spined star. I love the coloring on these. I don't believe I've ever seen this specific species before in any other aquarium. We got a giant key pole limpet. Oh, that is cool. I'm guessing that is going to be this guy right here. We got a slipper lobster. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen one of these guys before. That is quite interesting. We got a giant hermit crab. Now, when I was a little kid, we had a uh, little tank that had hermit crabs in them. Got some freshwater prawn. Woo! Wow, look at the size of that thing. Wow. So it's normally a touch tank, but they have this closed off for time being. Because it's going to be a little harder to keep people away. We got Caribbean spiny lobster. Look at the size of this thing here. Woo! Those things are scary looking. I just kind of wonder who the first person was to decide this thing would be delicious with some melted butter. I just don't get it. 
Alright, we got a Bengay uh, Cardinal. Nice. That's a nice looking. Got a Leather Star. That thing is giant. Got a really nice yellow. A green brittle star. So, wow, their arms, you want to call them arms, are really long. We got long spined urchin. You do not want to step on these guys. Back in my younger days when I used to go scuba diving, I've seen these. We got a red imperial urchin. We got upside down jelly. And all these on the bottom. Upside down jellies. That is awesome looking. Except we got extreme fishes. A honeycomb moray eel. Oh. oh, that is so awesome. Wow. Breathing in that. He's looking right at me too. Body all the way back inside. Another view of them. We got coconut batfish. It's this guy here on the bottom. Very odd looking creature. We also got a nice like, starfish in there with them. African mud skipper. Oh, this is a really nice looking habitat. You can see the mud skipper all here and in the water. Mostly all up above here. It's a big giant one up here on this rock. Size of that beast. African lungfish. Got a skull in there with them. Oh, this is the lungfish. Woo! Got a stonefish. So we got two of them in here. Got this one. We got this menacing looking guy here. Blind cave fish. Oh, I know that. You know the fish with the mud yeah. I know. Got shrimp fish. That's so cool the way they swim like that. Can't tell which is up and which is down. I think they're pointing down. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, they're pointing down. But yeah, that's just really cool looking. Kind of like they're floating. Lionfish. While they are very pretty looking fish, they're very invasive species. They are not native to the waters of the Atlantic and the kill native fish stream Amazon all right the Amazon River got freshwater stingray Tail catfish. Lots of different big old fish. Yeah. Already got banded lepornis. Duckbill catfish. Got rip saw catfish. Got a mighty cichlid. We got paku. And we got a royal placostomus. Must be really smart. Got a big head. Showing you a different side of this tank. Which is a whole bunch of different fish. A couple of the silver awana. 
There's one of the big old giant Paco. We got common iguana. There's the iguanas. We got warty anglerfish. I was looking all over this tank for him, and he's over here on the side, towards the back. We got some banded pipefish. He's looking in here also. But you look through the, the center part. Well, I'm sorry. Look through the center part. You can see him. And we got a red orbiter birdfish. Very nicely set up. And he is down here on the bottom. He's just swimming around a minute ago. We got some longhorn cowfish. There he is there. He's just swimming around. Ooh. And I get to say hi to me. Was that on it? You were almost on it. Oh, was it on it? Well, was it on your face? We got a turtle feeding pond. That is a nice setup. All the turtles. Got several of them in the water, swimming around. And those up on this log. Now we got an alligator snapping turtle. Now these things are huge. And their shells are very good at camouflaging them. Those giant claws on their feet. Got some other sort of fish swimming around them. Yeah, man, look at the size of that shell. So swimming around with them is bluegill. So the bluegill swimming around with the alligator snapping turtle. And we got channel catfish. Wow, we got some big fish. Now, despite it's looking like it's a really small tank, it does go back a ways. It's just the front of it is curved. So it makes it look like it's smaller than it actually is. So these guys have plenty of space. Right, we've got a common snapping turtle. That's got a nice habitat. He's there on the water. Just chilling. We've got some blue catfish. Yeah. So he's got a nice rocky enclosure. Don't get to see his head. We got some bowfin. Alright, the bowfin is here on the bottom. There we go. I see his head sticking out a little bit. There we go. Now he's moving around. Yeah, he's moving around. There we go. All right, that's nice size tank. We got some long nose gar, some alligator gar, and short nose gar. That's some cool looking fish. All right, this big tank. We got some striped bass. We got common and mirror cart, and also more blue catfish. All sorts of fish. Right, there's a lot of those gars swimming around the bottom. Got American alligator. Oh yeah, from the Sunshine State, you get these guys a lot. Look at him. It looks like they're smiling. Got a banded water snake. 
It does have water, but he happens to be up on the dry portion right now. This is drying out. I guess there's two in there, or just one really long snake. I got some largemouth bass. This guy's habitat that would be in naturally. It's like all the water lilies. Gives them more protection. Right, next up we got a red-eared slider turtle. Just so happens the two in here I have albinoism. Which means they lack their color pigment. Makes them very unique. I mean as unique as two albino turtles can be. Got American bullfrog. Yes, sir. Ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, look at that. That's a big hopper right there. Got some chain pickerel. Got some seagrass in there with them. Got some black crappy. guys have a very interesting name. This area is called Aquatic Oklahoma. We got a juvenile banded water snake. And you do have water, but it's right up here near the top. I'm not sure if that is one or multiple snakes or not. All right, we got some leopard frog. And then in the water, we're going to see some leopard frog tadpoles. Urgh. Even more up above. A little hippy hopping all over the place. I'm not noticing any tadpoles. So I guess everything that they had turned into froggies. Got an electric blue crayfish. I mean, it is a out big time. So crayfish or crawfish? Different people say it a different way. But man, their color just really pops. Got a central newt. I was expecting to be up there, but instead he's here in the bottom. Underwater. Just standing there. I believe this is called an amphithelma. So if I mispronounce that, I am sorry. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. The Eastern Tiger Salamander. It's got a nice terrarium. Here in the bottom. These guys are called water dogs. Huh. I'm actually surprised Spongebob doesn't have one of these guys. I know he's got Geary, but, you know, everybody likes dogs. Or most people like dogs. Alright, entering the eco zone. And they do have press penny machines. I guess they got the Rocky Coast Tidepool Touch Tank. Now, if anyone's seen the movie Finding Dory, Remember that scene with the touch tank where all the hands going in, just grabbing stuff? So you want to be very gentle when you're touching these animals. Don't poke them, don't try to pick them up. We're going to see some sea urchins. Got a red sea urchin, green sea urchin, and purple sea urchin. All right. They all sort of look the same color to me, but it's probably the lighting. Got a swell shark. All right. Here on the bottom and the back. That's a swell looking shark, everybody, huh? All right, so we got a plumed anemone. 
thing. That is a cool looking an enemy right there. Got pink tip an enemy and giant green an enemy. It's a whole lot of giant green an enemy. I don't really see any of the pink tip. Only pink I see in there is uh, fake rocks. We got California Sea here. Ooh. Uh, don't look like rabbits to me. They look more like uh, snails. Got one stuck in the glass. Very cool looking creatures. All right, next up we got some bat star. And then giant sea cucumber. Wow. Sea star. That's some nice camouflage. Almost the same color as the rocks. And the sea cucumbers. Very bizarre looking critter. All right, so this tank has multiple different types of fish. You got a China rockfish, more swell shark, and vermilion rockfish. You also have some blue rockfish, and tiger rockfish. and okra and giant pink stars. So lots of rockfish. Different kind. And you see the giant stars in the bottom. The size of that swell shark. Those are fast. Another giant starfish here at the top. Amazing giant kelp. So you know what kelp does for the habitat. A kelp forest in Discovery Caves. All right, so we have some multiple different types of fish. A big double tank right here. Got some half moon. Honeycomb rockfish. Got some kelp bass. A kelp greenling. It's a whole diverse ecosystem in there. Various types of fish. the other side of the double sided tank. Alright, they got the shark and ray touch tank. Feeding is currently closed. But you can see the sharks and the rays are on the bottom. Alright, we're gonna go into the shark adventure. I'm gonna go check out the shark tunnel. There's some important information why sharks are important animals of the world. And how they're the apex predator. Shark attacks. Sharks are vilified in movies such as Jaws. Shark diving cage. It's often what divers will use to protect themselves. See all the sharks hanging from the ceiling. These aren't real. Shark and man. This is exhibit has nurse shark as well as bull shark. sleep usually on the bottom some 
good views of the shark. What is a shark? This is a other side view. You get a good side view of the sharks, or or top view of them, rather. Since most of the views we had in the tunnel are of the sharks from underside. the shark food you got down there. You're eating all the fish. Come to get a bite. Come to get a bite to eat. Sharky feeding time. Here, let's go this way. Like the coastal marshlands. This is a taxi German American white pelican. In the water we're gonna see some red drum and hard head catfish. We're just swimming around. We have restrooms and beverage machine right here. Got another other tank here with more rays. This is on the other side of the shark and ray touch tank. Their barbs are typically snipped off. But they do grow back. Because in the wild they occasionally will get stuck in something and break off. Uh, this tank, African cichlids. Alright, African cichlids. Man, just a whole multitude of different colors. So cool looking. It's like a good puzzle. You think so? All right, this next area is the living reef. We've got living corals. And we got some several fish in here because I guess just a tank of coral would be kind of boring. All right, there's a yellow tang. I like the striped angelfish. Another fantastically beautiful coral tank. This tank is called a mixed reef. There's a blue tang, someone right there. Wowie, this is beautiful. That's the reason why I like coming to aquariums, just stuff like this. All right, next area is Polynesian Reef. Wow, this is awesome. Reef wreck. Some old ships have actually purposely sunk to help create artificial reefs. Fantastic habitat for aquatic life. Things you'll see in this particular tank. Um, zebra shark. Here's a zebra shark. All these tanks are interconnected, except for this one has a screen mesh that separates them because the eel in here likes to eat some of the other fish that are in the adjacent portion of the tank. So they're keeping him separated so he doesn't eat off the fish, you know? So yeah, the Mori eel is in here somewhere hiding. 
a gentleman I was speaking to was telling me he's most likely in the back portion of the faux part of a ship. Occasionally he'll be out in the front, but more likely he's in the back somewhere just sleeping. Whole lots of different fish. Then all the water is the same in all these tanks. This fantastic look of this place. This is more of the fish and information on those fish that are in this tank. Even more. Fish. And this is all connected. See the zebra shark is up swimming around now because the gentleman I was speaking to that works here was telling me that the dive group is in here that helps clean the tank. is currently in the water and he associates this talking about the shark here now not the guy he associates this with uh, feeding so he's up and moving around feeding time is until a little bit later but evidently sharks cannot tell time who would have thought well this is just a gorgeous giant tank right here Whole bunch of different fish. See the map here of Oklahoma, where we are right now, Tulsa, Arkansas River runs right near it. Uh, we got Marvels and Mysteries, Tulsa World. We got some pot bellied seahorse. Look at all the seahorse. Yes, swimming or fluttering, I guess. A cute little orange starfish in there, too. God, these things are so cool looking. These are juvenile high belly seahorses. How cute they are. Hey, bitty little things. Got some black ghost knife fish. So the clear plastic tubes helps them out because these guys are usually found in complete darkness. So their eyesight is almost non-existent. They actually use an electric field to help find their way around. So these tubes are there to help them feel safe. This tank has some vermilion grouper. Wow. This guy has a fantastic tank. And that's the grouper. Got some rose bubble tip in the moon and clown in the moon fish. All right. So the clown.
clownfish. Yeah, boy. You know what, I just realized something. I mentioned Finding Dory earlier. And these are called an enemy. So, I am sorry for sounding stupid. But yeah, because I'm remembering from Finding Nemo, where they get stung by the anemone. Jeez, I can't believe I misspelled that, or misspoke that. <laughs> So yeah, this is a uh, rose bubble tip and enemy. Got some red bellied piranha. Oh yeah. Well, how their scales shimmer and shine. Got an electric eel. This guy come in handy if your battery dies. We're gonna go to Sea Turtle Island. All right, it's all the aquatic life you're gonna see in this fantastic tank right here. Whole bunch of them. That's a quick fish. Look at that. Woo! The top view of that tank we just saw. Alright, so I'm looking and looking, and I do not see the sea turtle. I'm looking all over. Got some paddlefish. It's this interesting looking, looking guy here. Giant Pacific Octopus. We got a Giant Pacific Octopus. Now this guy has a 360 degree tank. A lot of people say he's in the back here. So I finally found him. He's all along the glass. Hard to see him. Even though it's rounded, he's kind of smushed himself in. He's got moon jellies. Oh, wow. All translucent here. And we got a Pacific Sea Nettle. Something else you might have seen in Finding Nemo. I believe these are the same critters that Dory and Marlin were bouncing on. Some golden poison dart frogs. There's also some cobalt poison dart frogs and blue poison dart frogs. Wow. I know we say wow a lot, but it's just an expression that just Intrigue, excitement. It says the golden poison dark frog. And then the blue poison dark frog. And I looked for a few minutes, but I finally found the cobalt poison dark frog. That is the nicest looking colored one. All invertebrates molt. Where the 
basically drop their shell kind of like a snake sheds its skin. When the vertebrates molt their outer layer, I would exit out through the aquarium shop. This is where I got my hat when I first got here. We have all sorts of shirts and books and hats and plush and jewelry, all sorts of other stuff. Aquarium is very popular with school groups and church groups and the like. So they typically have cheaper items for the kids. All right, everybody, that was the Oklahoma Aquarium. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I had a great time here. Lots of beautifully set up tanks. Lots and lots of different fish species. A couple that I don't think I've seen before. So, fantastic place. I had a great time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave me some comments if you like what you saw. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.